welcome back to my channel Dear Wine to Try and so today I don't why am I doing this video I honestly wish I could tell you but today I'm going to be attempting attempting to do my makeup with potatoes I I'm gonna get so many comments like like what like why would that be a good idea like it's not a good idea I can already assure you of that I don't really know what I watched them thoroughly if that makes it any better I don't really know what's gonna happen but I'm excited to figure out so yeah without further ado let's get started so I'm gonna be using a few different products I don't normally use only because I feel like the potato is gonna kind of mess it up and I don't really want that to happen so I have six potatoes right here so we're just gonna kind of see what happens I think these are going to be like my beauty blenders. Actually, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use this for primer. I'm just going to take the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser Primer and just put a little bit on here. I've honestly never done a video like this before, like using only one thing. So, mm. Uh-oh, it's all on my cheek. It's literally all, all on my cheek. Okay, so, oh, that kind of hurt. It's relatively blended I guess into my skin Let's put a little bit on my neck I think I put way too much on but I think that's probably a good thing okay so I'm gonna take the same one and we're gonna move on to foundation and I'm actually pretty terrified oh my gosh okay this is just not going to go well I um I think as long as I put it in like a Okay guys, I just had to fix my hair because I was getting a little bit of foundation in it. Oh, this is already so bad. Like, why would I think this is a good idea? It's just like, I can't even like, try to like, actually blend it in. I'm just trying to not get it this streaky. For concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection, partly because it's like the only one that will actually work. Um, so I feel like I should have gotten more of these like, pointy potatoes. This is a sweet potato or like a yam. But I didn't think that through very well, so we're just going to kind of work with what we've got. Just put some right here. And put it under our eyes. I need to have like one, this is going to be my secure blending potato. The fact that I'm saying this right now, why is, why is this a thing? Actually, it's really not a thing. And basically all that this is good for is just like smearing it on my face, but not really like actually blending. Ooh, this one actually kind of works well. <sighs> Alright, um, let me know what to do. This will put a little bit on the eyelid, kind of blend it. Next, I'm going to move on to powder and we're just gonna put some into here and then just get a potato in. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some here. So I have the powder right here, and I'm just going to take this potato, and I feel like it won't pick up any of the powder. Okay, we do have some here. Okay, once we can finally set this, that'll be nice. I just don't know how I'm going to get it off. Is there any other ones I can use? It's not really picking up anything. Okay, so this is what I'm going to consider baking my face. I don't really... I mean, it doesn't look terrible. You kind of can't really see it in real life. So if you could, you probably think it looks terrible. Now we're going to move on to brows. How is this going to work? I wish I could tell you. Okay, so for brows, I would try to take this color, but it was just way too light for me. So we're just going to kind of just ruin my favorite brow product I own. This is the e.l.f. Brow uh, Duo. This is going to be way too dark also. So like I said, they're super dark, so I'm just going to take my nice um, blending potato and just see if I can kind of take some of the product off. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It looks like I have a giant hole in my eyebrow, but... Okay, next we're going to move on to eyes. Eyes, I feel like, are going to be the hardest. Actually, I mean, everything's going to be kind of difficult. I'm doing it with a potato. So we're just going to go in with this, like, light, the lightest shade and just kind of... Let me zoom in. Oh no. Okay, so we're just gonna put this all over my eyelid. And I'm just gonna do this on one side and then I'm gonna do it on the other. Next, I'm going to take this brows color, 
right here. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that and just kind of put it in like the outer crease, sort of. Oh my gosh. Here's what we're looking with right now. We're just gonna take this dark shimmer color and just put a little bit in the very outer corner right there. Oh, perfect. Oh, nice fallout. I like that. The so next, I'm gonna be taking this potato right here. And I'm just gonna be brushing off the excess powder like this and just smudging the fallout all over my face. Okay, so my face is still like not set at all, but next I'm just gonna take this potato right here and I'm just gonna dip it into this pink blush color. Okay, so like I said, we're just gonna take my little blending potato and just blend all of that blush. For highlight, I'm just gonna take this little guy and just get some onto here. And of course, he's got a load on the highlighter. And then of course, we're just gonna do a little bit of bronzer. So I'm gonna take this little guy. And this. So for this part of the potato, I'm just gonna take some of this NYX whipped um, lip slash blush tint and just okay so last but not least is mascara so i'm just going to take this clinique high impact mascara and since i have two of these um i'm just going to try i mean i might as well just go all out and um just put a lot on there and then blink and see oh my god do you guys understand how much is on my lashes right now so yeah, that's really all that is to this potato look. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below by hitting that bright red subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And not exactly like this, I promise. I don't do this on like a regular basis. Um, but if you have any other ideas for stuff that you want to do my makeup with, then feel free to comment down below and I will definitely try to do it. That was a little bit crazy and definitely not something that I normally do, but it was honestly really fun and definitely a challenge. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.